Hello and welcome to Kashika's Pamper Paws YouTube channel. We welcome your channel. This is our fifth video. Alright, and we are going to talk about something very interesting now. Now, and something that our loves our pets more than we do. You must be wondering if this girl has gone crazy. How can someone love our pets more than we do? Obviously, they'll be us, right? But there's someone who loves them in a different manner. Now, what is that manner? Yes, yes. It's ticks. Yes, you're right. Our favorite ticks. They love our pooches more than we do. They don't leave them, they stay with them forever. And multiple doses of injections and spot ons. And I don't know what, what we have applied just to make our pets feel a little better, a little soother. Then there's tick fever, your pet is not eating, your pet is choosing chicken, and so many troubles. There's no solution for ticks, right? A lot of people say I've tried everything on earth. But taste doesn't go. So we have come today with some home remedies. Some remedies that will not give us side effects to your pet, but also going to solve all your tick problems. Yes, but disclaimer: it's not going to happen at once. If you think you're going to apply something, it will go in months. It's not going to happen. It's going to take a couple of times. So repetition. What we call is patience is the key. So you have to keep on doing it every time, and then your pet is going to be tick free. Not today. Not next year, forever, because you have taken proper protection. All right. So we'll be showing you what things you need for that. Keep watching. So for the first set, we need apple cider vinegar, uh, a cup at your place, uh, some lemons, uh, neem oil. You can get that uh, in any market. Sea salt. Not the normal salt, but sea salt. Some water. Make sure it's drinking water and not any other water. Any spray bottle you have in home, or you can buy from any online set. Uh, and some coconut water, a coconut oil, and a bowl. So we are good to go. So our first step will be with apple cider vinegar. This is available in any uh, medical store or you can buy it from Big Basket, Amazon, anything. So this has two ways. First, we will use it in a spray form. And second, you can mix this in your pet's food and give them. A lot of times they don't like food. So what you can do is, if uh, you take a water bowl, like a normal water bowl that you're using for your pet, you can take one cup of apple cider vinegar in every six cups of water. Okay, and you can give them for feeding. Now this helps in a lot of things. One, it increases immunity. Second, it gets all the itching and everything that they have for the ticks get rid of. And also it helps in acidity. So if you see your pet is having a lot of acidic or he is uh, you know, puking in the mornings, not wanting to eat in the morning, this will help you. It's no side effects and also this is good for you. So you can also drink it, right? It can also help you in a lot of reasons. Though we will not come to that. We are not that expert, but still, a hint for you too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take apple cider vinegar and we're gonna take cups. So we're gonna put six cups of apple cider vinegar in a bowl. With that, we're gonna add um, around um, 50 uh, mg of uh, salt, or you can take it like uh, two spoons of salt and mix it nicely. Okay, you can take normal water to mix it. Water quantity has to be four cups, so it has to be a ratio of six is to four. 6 cups of apple cider vinegar, 4 cups of water and around 2 spoons of salt. You can mix it nicely in a bowl and you can use in a spray bottle. Now this spray we have already made it for you. So this spray you can use it every day. But do not keep the spray outside. It has to be kept it in a refrigerator. Otherwise apple cider vinegar would have a very uh, acidic smell which your pet want not like it. So prepare this. Try every day. No side effects. So you can start from early monsoon till monsoon ends every day this is like a protection this is like a tick remover and anything you like so this is like your uh, ticks enemy you can say that all right so try this and let me know in the comment section how is it so the second way now this is my favorite because uh, Neem is something that we are born with, you know. Our grandmothers used to tell you the benefits of having neem. My parents, you know, used to have neem every day. 
Neem has a different connection with all, especially Indians, you know. Uh, we have Neem trees here, Neem has a lot of, lot of positive things. In fact, even uh, for wiping the floor, we always use Neemail, which is also from Neem, okay. So this is something which we never thought of. Um, a lot of people are confused what neem oil is. Neem is basically neem oil basically is and you know herbal and antifungal. This can not only remove ticks and fleas, it can also help you in skin infection, skin allergies, and a lot of things. So we are going to mix neem oil with coconut oil, okay? And it's on going to be in a ratio of two is to two. So if you use one cup. Of, uh, or two cups of neem oil then you use two cups of coconut oil alright and when you mix it up properly and uh, you can leave for two minutes after mixing so that it settles and mix down and then you can apply in your pet's body like this apply thoroughly okay just like this just like you are small pampering your pet just apply your pet properly so you can take neem oil maybe we are just showing you how neem oil is done maybe you can take like this with a mixture of coconut oil and apply like this in a very soothing manner, okay, very loving manner. It ha it's not a harsh process, but it's a process where you get connected to your pet. And when you're doing this, you can slowly catch hold of ticks. Very important thing, never kill the ticks. Always take a tick and put it in a cup of either uh, phenyl or kerosene oil or anything which is very strong in smell so that the tick dies. Ticks usually don't like such smelly substance and neem oil has a very strong smell. So you can apply it throughout the body, leave it for one hour and then you can give a shampoo. Now shampoo has to be done with a anti-tick shampoo. Now what you can do with the shampoo is, so this is number three, you can add lemons in the shampoo. This will add as antifungal, it will also remove the ticks and fleas because it's going to irritate their skin. So when they irritate, they try to run away. They might not die, but they want to run away from it. So when you are doing neem oil and coconut oil therapy and then after one hour when you give a shampoo with lemon in it, you can dilute the lemon maybe in water a little and then put it in the shampoo but yes, no tap water. Always either distilled water or your aqua god water, alright? And then you can bathe, always use warm water while giving a bath to your dog. This has to be repeated once a week or once in 15 days. If there are a lot of ticks, once a week. If there are little ticks, once in 15 days and if you see only one or two maybe rare ticks then once a month is perfectly fine but this therapy you should do all monsoons because monsoon is the time where your ticks now you don't know when which tick is causing tick fever so you have to make sure that there your pet is tick free it has to be shiny absolutely shining and it has to be a pleasure to have your pet if you're seeing your pet is not eating your pet is giving a you know choosing food maybe he has only chicken but does not have anything else so that's also a sign that your pet has things sometimes we don't notice we think we keep our pet very nicely but you don't know from where it can attack can be a clinic can be outside environment can be doing works can be doing trainers they carry you know they can anyone can be a carrier for things all right uh, so there are very few these are few tips which you can uh, you know help and you can also leave in the comment section that how did you like these tips uh, after that there's another process which is called home cleaning now uh, for home cleaning you need to do a couple of things which is number one use a vacuum cleaner okay so you can vacuum your carpets you can vacuum the house and that bag you have to clean it outside not inside the house so when you're doing that all the ticks in the environment goes off uh, second what you can do is you can use baking soda again my favorite lime and uh, a lot of water or a nimai anything and wipe the you know the whole surface you can add sea salt also in that that will also kill the ticks and fleas from the environment because once you're cleaning ticks from the body and sometimes it might be there hidden in your carpets hidden in your walls maybe your mattresses and a oh, very important thing so if your pet is sleeping on a bed make sure you clean the bed every uh, once a week if the pet is sleeping in your bed try and put the mattress in the sun for some time sun is the best therapy to remove things so if you have anything maybe a blanket which you saw take a carpet which you saw take you can sprinkle some baking soda and put on the sun for maybe 12 hours like the whole morning time and you will see ticks vanish away so these are few tips and tricks for ticks uh, but we would like to see how you felt it how you liked it and if you use it if you did don't forget to leave in the comment section so for that like our channel subscribe our channel 
and also share our channel. Share karo ya, because sharing is caring, isn't it? And you care for us and we care for you, right? So, see you for next video. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Take care. Be happy and stay tick-free.